Nazywam się Wacław Tadeusz Gąsiorowski. Urodziłem się w Chełmie na Pomorzu w 1931 roku, 13 lutego. This house was bought for cash in 1945. People who work here, 98% etc., are volunteers. There are few experts who are, say, historians or archivists who who have to know their job very well. But people like I, an amateur, you see, I, I was an engineer by profession, but my hobby was history. When I was young, they told me, you see, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you are sweeping uh, streets or working in the factory on night shifts or whatever. You see, you want to know your identity. You want to know who you are. Now, if you don't know your history, you don't know who you are. You could be anything. When I retired, I engaged myself here, you know, to meet people and explain to them how it was. Russians moved about 1.7 million Polish citizens to the depths of Soviet Union and just dispersed us. At the time when I was nine and a half, you see, they came on the 13th of April, 1940, and woken us at about five o'clock in the morning and gave us half an hour to pack. They murdered 22,500 Polish officers, landowners, etc., etc. Their families, like us, were, were being sent to the depths of Soviet Union just to perish. They wanted simply to wipe us out. And it's only due to this miracle that Hitler attacked Russia, we out of a sudden became free. See this pace parabellum. If you want to have peace, be prepared to war. In August 1942, we were being evacuated from Uzbekistan, taken by rail to Krasnovodsk, which is on the Caspian Sea then across the sea to Persia, to Parlevi. Then I joined the uh, military school in uh, Persia. I was sent to Iraq, from Iraq to Palestine. When they brought us over here, we, we didn't have anything to say. They simply informed us. The school is being transferred from Palestine to United Kingdom. I cannot pretend to be English, for start, because when I open my mouth, Immediately everybody knows that I'm not English. I have got a British citizenship because I live here. I pay taxes here. See, I would be prepared to fight for Britain. This is my home now. You see, when at the young age you are thrown into deep waters, you either swim or you sink. <laughs>